It's okay. All right, hi, my name is uh, Justin Day, and I'll be demonstrating how to withdraw medication from a vial and how to administer a sub-Q injection as well. And uh, so let's go ahead and begin. So I'll go ahead and check my five rights uh, when it comes to uh, getting the medication. I'm um, sorry, seven rights, not five rights. Uh, just to make sure that uh, we're, uh, we're doing everything right. Um, so at this point, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, we have our materials here. Uh, I'll begin with my hand hygiene. So normally I probably just uh, wash my hands and then, uh, and then get ready here. So in this particular case, we have a bottle of uh, pepper is actually what it is. Uh, so what I'll just go ahead and do, normally this is with insulins, but I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, flip it over and roll it in, in my fingers. Let's go ahead and get that stuff mixed up properly. And we'll wipe off the top of this vial. It says a little rubber stepper on the top. We'll wipe that off, get that clean with some alcohol. Now, the thing with drawing medication from vial is that we need to get positive air pressure inside this vial so that it will go uh, correctly into the syringe. And there's a way that we do that. So let's say that I wanted to get, uh, I had to draw 20 cc's. What I would do is draw the plunger back to 20. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and put that uh, needle in. And what I do is I draw, I push actually, that air into the vial. And what that's going to do is create a positive air pressure so that way that medicine should, should flow easily back into the syringe. Now I wanted to get 20, right? So I'll pull it back, the plunger. Now I'm at 20. But I might want to go a little bit beyond that, say like 25, just so that way, um, you'll see why in a second, if I have any air bubbles or whatnot, I can push that medication back in there. And then, so you tip it a little bit, there might be some air bubbles. And now we'll push that back to 20. So all those air bubbles should go back into the bottom. I'll pull it out. Now, we need to find a way to get this medication uh, to the client's room. We don't want to be running around a hallway with a sharp needle. So we're going to go ahead and cap this needle on the syringe. Best way and easiest way to do that is use the scoop method. We just put the cap down flat on top of the surface. Then we'll go ahead and scoop that needle into the cap. Nice and safe. And from there, we'll go in the patient's room. Okay, folks. Now, after we have drawn our medication into the syringe, uh, we're going back into the patient's room. Go ahead and practice our hand hygiene. Uh, adhere to the principles aided, and then also the uh, ask the uh, make sure we assess or check the seven rights of the uh, medication. Um, we'll also ask the patient if they have any hypersensitivities to the medication that's going to be given. We don't want any odd uh, allergic reactions that, that could possibly happen. So. At that point, we've already practiced our hand hygiene. Glove up. One glove. Two glove. And we're gonna get ready to do what we came here to do. So we'll look at the, uh, the abdominal area that we're gonna give our sub-Q injection into. And um, We'll go ahead and assess uh, for any uh, scarring, bruises, rashes, those kind of things. Uh, we want to avoid those areas. We don't want to cause any extra damage that could be uh, to the skin in that area. Uh, we also want to be around a one inch or two inch, a further circumference around the belly button area. We don't want to leave any medications into the belly button. It'll be a bad, bad day right there. Um, and once we've done that, we'll go ahead and take our alcohol pad. We want to clean the area that we're going to be injecting in, or the side that we'll be injecting the medication in. So usually a circular motion, in and out. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and grab about a one inch fold of the, uh, the skin. Yeah. Now we'll hold the uh, syringe like a dart, and we'll go in either a 45 or a 90 degree angle. If you have a larger patient that has a larger fold of skin, you probably want to go in the 90 degree angle. Otherwise, it's around one inch. We're going to go in 45. Ask the patient to breathe out. Breathe out. Put it in. Now we'll go ahead and slowly 
push the medication in. Once we've done that, pull out, flip the syringe, and engage safety, dispose of the syringe in the sharps container. If there's any bleeding uh, after you've given the injection, you can go ahead and give the patient a band-aid. And at that point, thank the patient very much for their time and that uh, we'll be seeing them again soon having to finish uh, with the rest of our cleanup. And other than that, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.